this is the energy vibration lazing for the Sun moon and rising um, Gemini I want to say thank you for being here thank you for being back this is a wonderful wonderful month for you Gemini's it because it's the energy of the wheel of fortune and also the energy of the chariot the wheel of fortune is the general energies and the chariot is there to help um, um, with the energies in the month which is very positive very good very positive so this month is four weeks and in this month we have a positive um, energies coming up because you guys carry the energy of the star in this month and it's going to be positive for you Gemini's so wonderful with the energies of the star um, the zodiac energy of the month is going to be um, hair and water so the two first weeks are going to be positive for you guys but I think for you guys the whole month is going to be a positive month because um, you carry the energy of the star there's a wheel of fortune energy of the star helps everyone and brings success for everyone but the wheel of fortune is also there with the energy of a chariot so there's a lot of movement in this month so let's go ahead and see what is happening in the two first week of these months um, for you guys for you Gemini's which is going to be very 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 positive I told you guys I swear and see I'm doing them in front of the cameras you can't see them but you will see exactly what I mean <laughs> oh my god you guys are so 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 lucky in this month of February okay the first week um, we have the energy of the daughter of Pentacles um, in the first week we have the energy of the daughter of Pentacles and in the first week um, is the general energies of the tower so this is good because you have the general energy of the tower and the wheel of fortune as the general readings and um, the general energy and your energy is a star and the tower came and then the daughter of Pentacles come for you guys so this is wonderful because what this is saying is that there you know whatever blocks whatever um, things that was going on your financial situation it the, 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 the clear it's coming through it's obviously um, that a lot of wonderful things are about to come because the daughter of Pentacles is the energy of the message of Pentacles coming in for you and it is going to be wonderful and positive okay this is uh, so good this is so positive this is a positive energy as we move on to the second week it is the week of the air week and it is a week of the star and you guys have the energy of the nine of Pentacles so I did say it was a lucky month for you guys so um, the two first weeks of the month of February is going to be very lucky for you guys because it's the zodiac energy of the hair so it's gonna be wonderful so you have together the star and the week of the star and uh, you your energy is the star and the nine of Pentacles so this is just going to be wonderful it's going to be very very positive sometimes um, I'm looking back at my um, at the the names I give per month and I'm seeing and I'm thinking oh my god let me look if this and it, it, it was third week of the month you have the wheel of fortune so this is just saying to you guys that it's just really 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 going to just be excited it's just going to be powerful it's going to be extremely wonderful this month because you have the energy of the star and wheel of fortune comes back and it is the energy of the month so the third week is going to be grand 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 for you guys as we move forward we have the energy vibration of the two of swords and this two of swords is a wonderful energy because what it's doing it's it's um um 
pushing out and 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 and, and, and all clarity to everything is coming out to just clarity to everything that was happening is coming out and this is going to be so positive this is going to be so wonderful because a lot of stuff is just going to be um, coming up because clarity to a lot of things that was happening that you weren't aware of is going to be just coming out and this is going to be so good so if you look at this um, for weeks it is all going to be um, positive in the sense that with the energy of the star the daughter of Pentacles which is a message coming about your financial situation second week is the nine of Pentacles and the third week is the wheel of fortune and the fourth week is uh, the sword where clarity is coming in it's just going to be wonderful let's look at the energy between the first week and the second week you have the energy of the five of ones the five of Pentacles I'm sorry it's the five of Pentacles here are the Pentacles I love these cards the five of Pentacles and it's in reverse so whatever that your financial situation um, is of was you have now the five of pentacles in reverse which is a positive positive energy being in the reverse because um, it's right between the first week where there's a message coming in about money and um, and the second the, the first and the second week you have um, the daughter of pentacles and that it's whenever the daughter which is so it's just a page comes in um, it's all about money coming to you and then the nine of Pentacles is in the next week and here have you the five of Pentacles in reverse connecting these two weeks so whatever that was transpiring in the first week and the second week the connection to that week is that you will no more feel as if you're in the hardship and your financial abundance isn't there for you as we look at the second week and the third week we have the energy of the Empress isn't this wonderful yes it's going to be a wonderful powerful year this is going to be good because this is going to be the center of your reading this is the energy that's going to be the center of your reading the energy of the Empress is positive that your financial abundance in your financial situation is going to be okay okay so the energy of the Empress is always nurtured is always your material wants and gain are going to be coming up and this is going to be positive and good as we look forward um, we are looking at the energy between the third week and the fourth week and you have the energy of the Sun of Cups so the energy of the Sun of Cups is a wonderful positive energy it is the energy of new love and this can be um, for the, the um, people out there who have kids that is a water sign that is a Pisces a cancer or a Scorpio this could be a new child that is being born for some of you a new baby this could be a grandchild or a new child this could be the conception of a new child or this could be also because um, this is new love that is coming in this is new love that is coming in this is love that is coming in and uh, um, if it's not uh, the birth of a child it is love that is coming in from people to let you know to let you know that you know they really truly uh, admire you and this is going to be good because this obviously is people um, saying how much they admire you because the energy of uh, um, clarity is coming in so a lot of people are seeing what you're doing and trying to accomplish and they're saying that they do admire you for what you have done okay so let's go further and let's see what is happening between the hardship and the energy of the Empress because uh, and you have rest um, rest the four of swords the four of swords so 
you can see that a lot of people a lot of people um, and I love this energy because I love I, there's nothing so beautiful as a sheep I don't know if anyone has ever felt about that but I love a sheep and a rabbit is the most beautiful um, animal there is and I just love the scar the way they did it is so positive because his third eye is open and people say his third eye is open yes everybody all animals and um, humans because remember we are coming from the form of animals this is a wonderful positive energy because it's saying you have no need to worry because your financial situations will be okay and you can rest now because um, um, you can breathe now you can actually breathe now rest now because the worries is over over your financial situation and this is very very good okay so as we look forward we're going to see what the Empress and the Son of Cups because the energy with the Empress and the Son of Cup is a mother and a son and this child is actually you know letting you know how beautiful and how happy and you know how deserving they feel of you and this is um, wonderful so um, let's look at the energy oh isn't this beautiful yes it is I was just saying the energy of the the um, the mother and the son and the two of cups comes out you know whoever out there and this is going to happen between the third week and the fourth week that your son or you, you know your daughter or your son that is a Pisces a cancer or a scorpion is going to come in and said mom I'm, I'm I so love you I so appreciate what you're doing I am so grateful that you're my mom you know sometimes people don't tell their parents this until they pass away but for some of you out there um, you're your your you know your child is going to be saying this to you or someone is going to come up and let them know and let you know how happy um and how how happy they are and that you have connected with them in such a beautiful way and this is going to be good this is so positive this is so good wonderful this i I, I think this is like one of the most beautiful card in the stick and um, you know whoever you are out there love is the most beautiful and powerful thing especially when a child said it to their mother this is obviously because it's right between the Empress and the son of cups so a lot of um, you um, are going to be receiving this message if your child is a Pisces a cancer or a scorpion a lot of you are going to be receiving this message and it's going to be a very very positive message okay so someone is going to let you know how truly how blessed and happy they are um, you know and this is going to be one of the most beautiful thing and it is a karmic situation it's as if this child came back in your life for um, um, a reason and you become his mom for a reason because remember that every child asks you to become their parents and the last energy you have is the four of Pentacles this is saying to you that your financial situation will be balanced this is saying to you that the Empress the energy um, that works with your financial abundancy let's call the Empress the lady of financial abundancy the arcana of financial abundancy is going to help you to balance out your financial situation okay so you guys have your outcome card as and your uh, your outcome card as the your financial situation will be balanced because the empress is going to make sure of that so, um 
what we have here is um, an energy that comes up that say um, whatever the situation is so whatever situation that has transpired and um, the blockage is now whatever that was not solid is going to be crumbling so whatever relationships you have whatever friendships you had that wasn't solid it's all gonna crumble. so not to worry because new people and new things and new situation is going to come in your life okay so uh, if you have uh, um, whatever situation and people and situation that you have to deal with that wasn't built on solid ground it is going to crumble and it's okay because what is happening is that you are going to realize that it is for a positive um, and a good reason we are going to take an overview of your month your month is the foremost thing about your month is that the energy of your empress your materialistic needs will be met okay so because um at the top connecting um you have the nine of pentacles and the wheel of fortune right beside each other right in the middle of the month the two weeks the sec the second week and the third week you have this these energies and um this is wonderful because it's crowning your whole um, month with the Empress as the central um, point of your month which is just so wonderful and so positive around it we are having um, uh, the the daughter of Pentacles which is an earth sign uh, or it's a message coming in about money so for some people you will have the energy of the daughter of Pentacles which is a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn this person can be between the ages of 18 and, and 40 18 and 40 okay and then you have um, whatever the financial situation is it, and the hardship it's now in reverse okay and then it's time now that you can breathe because your financial situation will be balanced okay whatever is transpiring between you and someone you and a business situation you and a partnership whatever that is new love is coming in um, so and a lot of business transaction is going to be opening up for you a lot of doors of opportunities and business transaction will be opening up for you and this is going to be wonderful and very very positive okay so this is this is um, a very um, positive everything is actually very positive what is going to be happening as we look as um, you know and, and and this is what is going around um the the central point of the nine of pentacles the wheel of fortune and the empress okay that is the most positive energy in your layout which is what is going to move your month and what is going to open up a lot of um doors for you guys so this is wonderful um I am doing something different every other month. I'm going to do something different. I always do the energy of the zodiac, but because I'm using this deck, it's giving out more information. You guys have the angels of Paul Rick, and this is the angels of animals. So, for all the animals lovers out there, this is a wonderful positive energies for the animal lovers out there. The number two, the duality energies. Are here in this month for you guys um, the number two energies the duality energies are here for you guys in this month so this is going to be wonderful okay the other energies that I have I am working with the unicorns we need um, a lot of people need to understand what is happening we're working with the unicorns and we have uh, um, the prompt to call a friend and sometimes we have these urge um, maybe we have uh, people who um, there was situation that happened and uh, um, you know you have lost con con connection and that sort of a thing sorry and it is saying call a friend okay call a friend and this is good because 
sometimes you are reluctant because you're tired and you want to be alone and sometimes you know you need to call people and let them know um, that you're thinking about them and uh, you know um, make some time you know for other people the next energy um, we have is um, remembrance number 38 um, this is wonderful this energy of remembrance the frequency of remembrance support our memory of everything that we have gone through as a soul in a body provide us with valuable information and the tools to flow gracefully with and in this life isn't this wonderful yes it is it is a beautiful beautiful energies and um, these cards are the activation um, the sacred geometry activation and the most funniest thing about these cards is that the lady who does um, I've design and original it made these cards grew up in the Netherlands and I lived there for over 20 years and come back to the States and got them for my birthday last year isn't this funny very funny love these cards they really work um, not because I <laughs> I realize this but they really work because um, the activation whenever I use them there is really an energy in these cards that really work and I am not it's not an advertisement tool or something like that but it I feel the energies okay so ladies and gentlemen wasn't it a wonderful sorry oh sorry I'm so sorry but I have to get your readings out and I had one coffee so I'm gonna make another coffee because I gotta do um, the air signs tonight so ladies and gentlemen remember um, call a friend there seems to be a lot of force that